administration has brought the spirit of beer. There is a spirit of beer. Meanwhile, they are claiming that no, when you vote for this government, you are voting for, for, for Christ according to them. Foolish people. Everywhere you go, because these people only dream of his beer. In the morning, they are dreaming of beer. Everywhere you go, look, go out there. Their only investment which they are running is bars and brothels across the country. Bars! Some of them get in approaches. Abbreviated by their names, leaders of Zambia. I can take you around, you members of the press, and you see for yourselves. Zambia has been interbanized. Zambians are going to interpret everybody is lawlessness. Areas which must be residential areas, they are flooded with bars, they are born in bars because these people they were picked from bars. Mahura Chakra from a bar. And you think that that person will think of science and technology. You are a joker. You beat somebody from the bar. The police will be along nightclub drinking. Eight o'clock, Zambia is drinking. Eight, uh, six, they are drinking. Young people are drunk. And they are paying them to go and drink so that they can recruit them to be militia to stop the change which is about to pick. And you say, this country is on course. Quite people are it's on course. Image for Upua. That's why, you see, I, I, 100% am of the royal blood. I'm not a commoner. And I don't fear anybody apart from the Almighty God. I fear Hashem only. Not anybody. Anybody is a commoner. If that person, like all these all these people, all these commoners that we have with leadership, that is destroying this country. They don't care because it is not in their blood to care about the people that they need. They care about their pockets. Pantibasha, who cares for himself? If you understand kingship, then you will know that kingship is about the people. Without the people, you can't be king. China is using Zambia as a dumping ground. When you go into the compound, you find China moss everywhere you go. Toothpicks are in China moss. Disposable underwear, they are in China moss. You find it. Underwear from China. Bamba. You find the Bamba in all these China moves. All the way from China. Bamba. When I stand on my China moves. In our republic. And you expect jobs to grow in Zambia. And then you have, you have these leaders issuing a statement quite cheap saying, no, you Zambians just partner with Chinese. How can Zambians partner with Chinese? All those Chinese who have come, those economic refugees, the economic refugees from China, they are funded by their government. And the rate at which they, they are funded, when they're talking about repayment, it's about 1%. They come to Zambia, the government, which is useless, is telling them to partner with them. How would they partner with them? Because the government of China has partnered with those Chinese traders. Our government is not partnering with the people so that they can take advantage of all those who want to come and invest so that they can partner with the people and they must say partner with the people. Grand partner. Grand partner with the Chinese. Partner with the Chinese. Partnership cannot be never a thing like that. These is the first warning sign that this country is being led by the most foolish people. Sata is vindicated in his grave. Sata told us before he died that all my ministers are foolish. All my ministers, Fipuma, Sata told us before he died. In his grave, he's vindicated. Today, we have seen their foolishness. When he died, they picked one of the foolish ones, and today, we have seen foolishness in the public. Total foolishness in the public. And you are watching and you think it's wrong. You must be angry. This is not the country that you and I must entertain or go to bed relaxing that we are, everything is all right. When they come, they take over our jackets. From our jackets, they take over our trousers. From our trousers, they take over our shirts, our ties, until they take over underwear. And you are looking away. And you think this is normal? God did not keep this country copper in order for China to come and take copper and this state receive nothing. Then he sees us to be God. God gave us the copper. He gave us the emeralds. He gave us the diamonds so that those of the people of Zambia
can benefit, can benefit from the copper, from the mineral resources, land and water. That's why we are given those resources. You Zambians, are you not aware that through tax frauds, first quantum minerals has cheated on ZCCM IH out of, up to a total of 8 billion United States dollars. 8 billion is the national budget. This is just one mining operation. And what this simply means is that the people of Zambia can stop paying taxes. All mining, all Zambian companies can stop and go on tax holidays. Just by collecting what is due from first quantum minerals in one year, eight billion dollars, the entire budget can be funded. Time has come for the country to be able to account for resources. Now, we have a regime which is so corrupt that as long as their pockets are oiled, they will look away even when they see the frauds going on in the mining sector. This includes the precious stones. I'm talking about emeralds. I'm talking about gold. I'm talking about diamond. This country has all these mineral resources. They will look away. If I had to ask you, do you know the total value of emeralds that we have in Zambia? Emeralds, take away the copper. Do you know the total value as citizens? Do you know how much billions of dollars Zambia can make from emeralds alone? Now, how much is Zambia getting from emeralds? Almost nothing. Just because there were a few people that have led our nation in siege. And these are the ones who are benefiting from our mineral resources. Meanwhile, this is dead. When they collect money into their pockets from emerald miners, from those who are mining in the copper mines, they put money in their pockets, then they got the people of Zambia to finance their luxurious lifestyles. And you say this country is poor. Idiots. Whoever says Zambia is poor is an idiot. Whoever says Zambia has no resources is an idiot. Whichever citizen questions when we say we just cup of pay as you end is an idiot. Cheap work. This country is behaving as a, as a nation of foolish people who want to perish together as stupid people who don't care about the future of the country. And those Zambians who are not yet born. What is happening in Zambia is totally unacceptable. And I want to appeal to the consciousness of this nation, to those men and women who claim to be professionals, those who claim to be educated, those who claim to love Zambia. I want to appeal to your conscience that time has come for us to begin to rise above what has held us captive and to be able to determine the course that Zambia must take. No wonder we in the UPP identified the biggest problem Zambia is facing in 2016 before any political leader ever spoke about this matter. I spoke about it. I said the number one problem Zambia has is corruption. Number two, China. Many didn't believe. It was in 2016. We are coming to the close of 2018. I am vindicated. They threw me in prison for seven days, seven nights for exposing their corruption. When we started exposing the Mexican scam, 34.5 million US dollars. Many Zambians didn't believe. And to improve the case, a sensible government in Malawi acted. The minister was fired. The entire border of Atmark was dissolved here in Zambia because the more operandi for governance is corruption. They feed on the bed of corruption. They kiss corruption. They sleep with corruption. 